from nursery and she wanted to come and see what the snow was like in our garden because we've had snow where we are only a little bit enough to close my school though um, so when we get in what I'm going to try and do once I can convince her to come in is finish off our body unit with a little song a quiz point to the body parts again ask her what makes us healthy and then we're just going to wrap it up there um, but 10 days is definitely long enough at her age for a little project uh, that means we can have a day off tomorrow just concentrate on having ballet we may still do some school work in the sense of writing and reading and numbers um, but she tends to do that mostly through play rather than me sitting her down we don't do for anyone who uh, is wondering how long at this age we sit down for to do actually any sit down work Mom. five ten minutes if that and then it's up to her if she wants to continue doing it for longer or whether we get up and play something else um, but they don't have long attention spans at this age and I've always said if she went to school she'd be labelled ADHD because her meeting last week at nursery they said um, she's not always very good at sitting down and listening to a story um, so they're training them for school with that and these kids are not built this age to sit still they're meant to be moving so she's having fun so these are the snowmen that me and Rosie built in the garden. We didn't have that much snow to make big ones. She wanted to make more, but I was getting too cold, so I took on her the, in. On the door, on the back of the door, go stand by your board. And I would like you to point to, on the right, to the little girl's head. Where's the, where's her head? No, orange. Okay, her eyes then. Point to her eyes, please. Yeah. Where's her nose? Oh, Where's her? Where are you going? I... No, baby, this is just making sure you know where everything no, is now. No, I want to go home. Can you show me where the brain is? No. I think, I think it's this bit here. What do you reckon? I don't know, it looks a bit like a brain. That's the small intestine, is it? Okay, so I think this is the brain then. Well, I say it's not that. Well, I think this is it then. Uh, what about? I think this is the brain then, down here. Well done. Uh, okay, this little red thing, that's the brain then. That's the heart. Uh, okay, well, what about this beanie thing? I think that's the brain. It's the kidneys. Well done. Oh, this is the brain then. This must be the brain. Oh, that's the liver. Then this is the brain. That. That's the kidney. That's not the kidney. That's, that's the large intestine. So, where's the brain then? Can you show me where the brain is? There. Brain. Where was the lungs? Oh, this. And the liver? Oh, yeah. Where? There. That's the word liver. What about the small intestine? Where was the small intestine you said? I don't think. You did. Was this the small intestine? The trick is she's she's what she's watching something as well, so she's distracted. But um if your child doesn't seem to want to learn, pretend to not know and they laugh at you and think you're silly if they actually know the answer. So Rosie does know where all her organs are. She did just answer them. Um she has done all of these, she knows what they are, she knows what they're all for. So Rosie Bear, little pop quiz. Smoking, good or bad for us? Good. Really? Bad. Bad. What about fruits and veggies? Good or bad for us? Good. What about exercising? Good or bad? Good, well done. What about lounging around all the time? Good or bad? Good. Lounging around all the time? No. No. What about... Drinking lots and lots of alcohol. Is that good or bad? Good. Bad. You know it's bad. What about um, being stressed all the time? Is that good or bad for us? No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no. What about omega threes? Are they good for us? Yeah. Where do we find them? They help our hearts, but what do we find them in? Our flax. 
flax seeds, yeah. Is broccoli good or bad for us? Yes, good. Is sugar good or bad for us? Baby, you're too close. Good. Sugar, is it good or bad for us? Oh. Good. It's good. Bad. Too much of it's bad for us, isn't it? So she's generally got what I want out of her to get out of this project. Point to your knees, baby. Point to your elbows. Point to your fingers. No, I don't want to point to my fingers. Well, then point to your neck. No, no. Do you not have a neck? Yes. Is this your neck? Your... Those are my shoulders, are they? She can tell me. If I, if I come up with the wrong answer and I point to the wrong thing, I bet Rosie can't put her hands on her head. Yeah. She's watching Club Q, though. So, we'll leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. It gives you some ideas. But seriously, if your child, like, they seem to have done so well in everything, but then they just don't seem interested in letting you know whether they've learned anything, um... Pretend you don't know. It's like puzzles. If I put the piece in the wrong place for Rosie Bear, Rosie will laugh at me and put it in the right place. Um, but if I just tell her, you know where that goes, she just won't do it. But if I pretend I don't know, she, she gets on with it and does it. So for now, we shall say please like and subscribe. And it's Tatar from me and Tatar from the... Rosie Bear.